If you've just found out that your husband is cheating on you, I'm sorry. I know that this has to be the hardest time of your entire life. I've been there. Keep watching. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Jen Grice, author of the book, You Can Survive Divorce. I'm a divorce mentor and empowerment coach, guiding women to surviving and thriving after divorce. You can find out more about my ministry, my coaching, and my book at jengrice.com. Today is Discovery Day. D-Day for short. The day you found out that your spouse who promised to love, honor, and cherish you has deceived you and could try to continue to deceive you. My guess is that not only has he lied to you, but he tried to convince you that you were crazy to think that he was cheating on you. Maybe he even blamed you for the fact that he's gone out and had an affair. You were confused and wondering what was going on behind your back and now you know the truth. You may even feel a little vindicated, especially if you were accused of cheating when you're not. Angry that he could be so deceitful, or sad to know now that your marriage has been ruined by his affairs. Before you do or say anything, I want to give you a few quick tips. And I hope other watchers who have been through some of this and moved on to better life will share their stories in the comments below so that we all know that we're not alone. So number one, stay calm. Don't act out in your anger. Be angry, yes. Your anger is warranted for all that you've been now put through, but don't let it control you or cause you to do something that you will regret. Take a breather just to digest everything. You'll process the past conversations or times in the past that your gut told you something, but you gave your spouse the benefit of the doubt. Number two, don't rush things. You don't have to make any decisions today or tomorrow. Maybe thinking I have to divorce him, or maybe he's going to divorce you to be with a mistress. Either way, you can still take some time to think about how you're going to proceed. The legal process takes many months, and although it may feel rushed or panicky at times, they give you time to make decisions rather than expecting things to happen right now. Your husband may even be pushing things along in order to be free to move on with this other woman. Don't let him push you either. He's not in control. The court and the lawyers decide the pace of the divorce process. Lastly, number three, and most importantly, do not beg your husband to stay or stop the affair. Do not threaten to take the children from him or say he'll never see them again. I know this is hard not to do. Many women make this mistake, so you're not alone. And do not contact the other woman to say anything to her like, he's my husband. Again, no judgment. I've been there as I shared in another recent video. I got the crazy wife title but it wasn't me talking. It was my emotions that I allowed to run wild. And honestly, this is what a narcissist wants you to do. He gains two things out of this. The admiration that he thinks he deserved, two women were fighting over him, and two, he will spin the narrative and blame you. See, that's why I had to divorce her. Don't give him any ammunition to use against you. With a narcissist or serial cheater, anything you say or do will be used against you. Start working on how you're going to be the healthiest person you can be and leave your marriage with integrity. If this is the first day, week, or even month you found out that your husband is cheating on you, I'm so very sorry. This is what I call an unwanted divorce. You certainly didn't think today would ever come. You never thought or wanted your husband to commit adultery, which has now ruined your marriage. I want you to know that if you're heading down the path of divorce, my ministry is here to walk with you and help you and show you the resources that you may need. I have resources on my website, jengrice.com forward slash resources, printable toolkits in my shop to help you create a divorce or custody binder, my book, which helps you understand that you're not alone, that God is walking with you and that you can survive divorce. I offer divorce coaching, empowerment coaching, and so much more to join you on this journey. I hope this was empowering for you in some way today, and I hope that you feel comforted knowing that whatever you're experiencing, that so many others have too. Again, I hope others will share in the comments and feel free to join in the discussion. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. Please check out my other videos about healing, betrayal, trauma, I hope to see you in the next video. God bless.